Hey guys. Um, I posted on Facebook uh, an opinion that I had after I saw a TikTok video where an LGBTQ woman was talking about minor attracted persons. Now, the word minor are children. Minors are children. It's just, it's a synonym. Okay. Uh, they don't want to come out and say child attracted person. Okay. Because that would not be acceptable. So what they did was they softened up the word and sort of gave a a, a word that no one would pay attention to. Minor. Minor attracted person. Which are pedophiles. Now, I was so upset and furious by that that I posted and I posted and with raw emotion. Raw emotion, which was also my opinion. But it was all raw emotion. And I didn't think of how I really intended it. So I said that do you know what the plus means? It means pedophilia. And my friend, my longtime friend, responded by saying that's not what it is. That's not what it means. And he was so upset and offended that he unfriended me. And in the uh, woke leptoid world, you could say he canceled me. Okay? Leptoid is a word. See, I watch, uh, a, a, I subscribe to a YouTuber who used to be a Democrat. But when he saw what was going on in the Democrat Party, where the, Dem where the Democrat Party basically left him, he switched over to Republican. So he didn't leave the Democrat Party, the Democrat Party left him. Just like I didn't leave the Democrat Party, the Democrat Party left me. So, anyway, so he said, call me when your head is on straight. Or basically he said, you know, um, when you got your senses back or whatever, call me. So I called him and I apologized for offending him. At the same time, I took down the original post. And then I reposted it with disclaimers, a disclaimer and a postscript. Communication is a process. And I always, in all my videos, I always watch what I put up to see how I came across, to see if I'm communicating my message, what my intent is. And I do the same thing with posts. And it was apparent that my raw emotion 
uh, affected my poor choice of words. Okay. Now, I wrote down um, my uh, my feelings, and these are my feelings, feelings and opinions. Okay, and so I wrote it all down, and this is what I wrote. What has happened between me and my longtime friend? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me read that again. Okay. What has happened between me and my longtime friend is truly tragic. Our friendship has scanned five decades. Why would my friend choose to throw that friendship down the toilet so easily? One explanation, woke leptoid programming. Uh, remember I said that you're programmed with only a certain amount of information. And if anybody ha says something that doesn't fit with that, you basically respond with, that does not compute, that does not compute. And some people say that by yelling back at them, by changing the subject, and by walking away. Um, now, so, I continue. Mature, civilized adults, not to mention a 50-year-old friendship, would always discuss whatever is bothering either one. Each person would listen and respond until the matter is resolved and peace is restored. My friend canceled me, which is what woke leptoids do, when he expressed his grievance and denied me the opportunity to respond, which would have resulted to us working things out. By unfriending me, it takes by offending me. Blah. Okay. It takes real courage to endure the process of working out a problem. There can be great anxiety or fight or flight in psychological terms when one is upset about the other. My friend took the coward's way out by canceling me and shutting down communication. Normally, when you leave a comment to a Facebook post, the other person can respond just as publicly. This is called a thread. Where is the thread? When the, cut, when the cord is cut at the beginning. We could have resolved this easily because our friendship goes back five decades. But he chose not to. Sorry. Okay. A wise person told me that he really wasn't your friend. Then I have to say, then what was he? Or our friendship didn't mean much to him as it did to me. He said, when you, quote, when you come to your senses, 
You know my phone number, unquote. There is nothing wrong with me mentally. He is giving me a condition to me that does not exist. I may be a little autistic, but other than that, there is nothing wrong with me. My entire post was an opinion. That's all it was. I did use a poor choice of words by saying that's what the plus means instead of saying that's what the plus includes. In it, the LGBTQIA is a list of lifestyles under the acronym umbrella not ingredients of a soup to use that metaphor So what did my longtime friend do? Like all woke leptoids, he canceled me and ran to his safe space and told me to call, call me when I've come to my senses. Instead of being a man and a friend, and wait for my response to his comment. No matter how much anxiety he felt in resolving the issue. Oh. All right. And that's what I wrote. So. He texted me and we discussed it like friends do, like friends are supposed to do. And he said, You have a right to your opinion. Just as I have a right to push back on your opinions. He lost. Push back. Push back. A red flag went in my went off of my head. Push back. Push back. Which is a violent we actually push back, push back. Why don't we start? Who the hell are you? Gunnery Sergeant DeLuca. Push yeah. back. Is this your idea? The last time I heard the phrase push back was when, Mac, when Maxine Waters was talking to a crowd and she was saying, if you see any of his cabinet members you gather a crowd and you push back on them and she is just as woke as anything but the idea of pushing back is exactly what the woke left toys do which I have seen on videos where they push back on pro-choice advocates where they push back on people that the woke left towards disagree with. Push back. Not disagree, but push back. Now, I wasn't 
going to read this in a video, what I read to you, because we had made up, my friend and I. But when he said, I have a right to push back on you, push back against you, push back against your opinions. That made me think, aha, I was going to make a separate video, but now, because of this development, I'm going to include it, okay, okay, here we go. Some of my longtime friends are woke leptoids who swallowed up the lies and propaganda. CNN, MSNBC, The Daily News, The New York Times, Newsweek, Time Magazine, the major networks, and others spread. Other long-time friends are not. Though there are not many. And they are conservative. Or perhaps independent. Now, there are a lot of beliefs and attitudes woke left toys hold. It's, it's not okay then? And I'd like to know how all my liberal uh, Democrat friends feel about feel about what I'm asking. How would they answer? Now, this is a rather long list and it takes a few pages, so please be patient. Okay. Do you believe America is a racist country going back to 1619? Do you believe America is the only country to have slaves? Do you believe trees are racist? Because lynchings were held there. Do you believe slave owners like Washington mistreated their slaves? Do you believe all cops are racist all the time and are ready to shoot blacks? Do you believe pro-life advocates are evil? Do you believe Republicans are white supremacists and therefore evil? Do you believe all white people are white supremacists? Do you believe all parents who object to CRT and trans being taught in schools and pornography in school libraries are domestic terrorists? Do you believe it is okay to cancel and destroy the lives of those you disagree with? Do you believe you have a monopoly on the truth and Republicans and conservatives are liars about everything? Do you believe there are more than two genders? Do you believe biological males belong in competing in women's sports and are allowed in women's locker rooms? Do you believe caring more, more for citizens of another country 
that our own citizens? Do you believe we should eliminate all fossil fuels? Do you believe in getting rid of gas stoves? Do you believe the American flag and the national anthem are racist? Do you believe that all, all Republicans and conservatives are against homosexuality? Do you believe all white people should feel shame for being born white and oppressors of black people? Do you believe all white people have white privilege? Do you believe only white people can be racist? Do you believe in freedom of speech only for liberals and Democrats, but not for Republicans and conservatives? Do you believe burning the American flag is freedom of speech, but desecrating a pride flag is an unforgivable transgression? Do you believe all lives matter is racist? Do you believe in being inclusive toward everyone? Kumbaya! except Republicans and conservatives. Do you believe our government should tax hard-working Americans and send that tax money to college students in their student forgiveness program? Do you believe colleges should admit or not admit applicants based on their race? Do you believe any white person who feels and says to treat all races equally is considered dangerous? Do you reject the teachings of Martin Luther King Jr.? Now, If you answered yes to every single one of those, congratulations, you are a bona fide woke leptoy. However, if you have answered no to any of those questions, then that means you have some conservative values. And, um... Could lean towards being a Republican. So, that's what I wanted to say this morning. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening in. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.